Hey everyone, here we are, Anders and Pens. I'm Eric, and today I have brought Steph with me. Steph is Anders and Pens' senior image editor, and I've asked her to tell me what her top five turquoise inks are. Are you ready, Ms. Gill? Well, I was not when first you asked, because I had not used every single turquoise ink. You had However, not, and I now have, you have. I have done science. You have done science. I have inked up five different pens after exhaustive research with five different turquoise inks and written an entire double spread of... Now, I, I like turquoise inks because I, I like blue inks. Mm -hmm. But uh, can you define turquoise? Well... What is your definition of turquoise? I, when I, when I had to nail this down, I went and I looked up a picture of the stone, the actual stone turquoise. So okay. It's a light blue-green stone. And it's got to have a little blue. It's got to have a little green. I think most of the inks that we call turquoise are definitely more blue than the stone, but that's okay. We're going to... Yeah, that's been my problem with turquoise, because they call a lot of things turquoise, and sometimes I think they go a little too blue, and sometimes I think they go a little too green. It's an approximate it's an category. Approximate. Okay, so let's see what your first choice is. What is it? Is it this one right here? It is indeed. And this these are in no What's particular order. No particular order. This mm -hmm. is not your favorite. Well... Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but this is Lamy, and it's called what? This is Lamy Turquoise. Lamy Turquoise. That was my first and clue. Is this what you have right here? Yes, I... That is a beautiful... But see now, is it turquoise or is it blue? I, I I'm like going to call it turquoise. You call it turquoise. They started it, but... I like this color, but probably because it's more blue than green. Yeah, yeah. I think this one is on a little bit on the bluer side. It's definitely got some green in it, so it's like more green than in... Uh, like a royal blue or something, but but still, I think it's got a got a nice blue vibe to it. Now, I had heard in the past that Western style inks are more for like long loopy strokes, and Eastern style inks are for more short and straight strokes. And I I learned that that was very true with this Lamy turquoise ink. They did a nice job of making the lightest parts of the words. Um, there's not a huge range between the lightest color that this ink produces and the darkest color that this ink produces. So when you look at an entire page of writing like this, you see the rough outlines of words, which is, very, I think, a nice feature, especially if you write in cursive or use a finer nib. You would really like Lamy Turquoise. Um, it's very easy to look at what you've written. Yeah, yeah, it is, it except for... Doesn't, it's not glaring at me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's easy on my eyes. Yeah, and before I spilled ink all over the page, it was really easy to read, too. You read it before you spilled it? I did, I did. You wrote it, read it, spilled, okay. Yes. So this is Lamy Turquoise, again, in no mm -hmm. particular order. But I see a bottle here of something that is a Sailor Ink Studio. Yes. And 141. Mm -hmm. um, and you're saying that's a turquoise? That's a turquoise. Can I see it? Yeah. Here, let's take a gander. A much so, lighter blue. Yes. But in my to, in my opinion, it's still a blue. Yeah, yeah, it's got... I mean, we don't usually see blues that are true blues that are this light. Maybe okay. like, if you remember Miles Davis, that was more like a true blue with no green in it whatsoever. But, but this is... And a light is, one. And a light one. And a light one. But they so are, this, they this are has got some green in it. Yes, yes. But are we saying not as much as turquoise, Lamy turquoise? say they're about the same. I think this one is definitely a less saturated ink. It okay. probably has less uh, dye in it, so you can see through the words. It's a lighter color on the page. And when I spilled ink all over the page at the end, you can still see a tiny... You can't read the writing, but you can tell that there was writing behind it because it's definitely... In some spaces. Mm -hmm. Here you can't. Yeah. But... but now this one, just uh, you say it's less saturated. To me, it was lighter. Yeah, which yeah. It's probably the the outcome. It is this uh, turquoise is much darker. Definitely, um, and although the saving grace for Sailor Ink Studio, if you do not like light inks, is that when you make a line with it, the ink likes to flow kind of like back up the shape of the word that you've written, oh. and produces when you look very closely at the letters some very beautiful haloing effects. So oh, that is pretty. Yeah. Because the edges of those words are lighter, you're going to get an overall darker it's, looking ink. It's light, but I, I'm not having any trouble reading it. Yeah. Which is sometimes a problem with very light inks. Not enough mm -hmm. contrast. Mm -hmm. No, it might give you some trouble if you wanted to write in cursive. This was 
This was when I really noticed the difference between this and Lamy. This is a little bit less lubricated, so it feels less like smooth on the page if you're gonna go for a big long stroke. But it that backflow thing that it does is it's just so pretty. The shading on these lighter turquoise is just it makes my heart sing. Uh, between the two of them so far, I can't choose a favorite. Uh, I, well, I guess I would lean towards the darker of the two. So I, so far, I'm with the Lamy turquoise. But this one, this Ink Studio, is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Especially spilled all over the page. Yeah, well, that's oh. probably what I like, but mm -hmm. it's artistic at this point. Yes. I yes. see uh, a diamine bottle. Yes. Which diamine ink is this? This is Havasu, you guessed it, turquoise. Turquoise. Havasu turquoise. Mm -hmm. And as you and can see, it is way greener. I was going to say greener. This mm -hmm. is greener, so mm -hmm. if you're teaching me color theory. But there I, we go. that's obvious. Um, I wouldn't call it green, though. I'd still say it's blue. Yeah. But it has a lot more green in it. Mm -hmm. I, it's, Especially when you just looked mm -hmm. at the one oh, yeah. that is much bluer. When we flip back and forth, I'm suddenly yeah, like, oh, see is, them this, easily. is this a teal? And then I then I realize that I'm probably splitting hairs, but... Oh, yeah, what's a teal? Uh, turquoise that leans green? Or we're going to make this really complicated, yes, aren't we? we? Could, yes. <laughs> and okay, it, what do you know about this ink? What do you think about it? This ink reminded me a lot of Lamy Turquoise. It felt really nice coming out of my pen. It is also, of all of these inks that I have brought here today, the lowest price per milliliter. So if you are the sort of person that buys ink by the barrel and you are always writing with this and this is a color that you really love, this one is definitely the most economical. It also had a really nice flow. So even when it was, even if you put it in a fussier pen, it would probably still write really well. Although... The pen I had, it was not fussy at all. It just felt really nice. Which pen did you use? Your this, Kakano? This was my Sailor 1911 with a broad nib. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this so far might be my favorite, only because it's different, probably. It is. It is I, the most different. I, I like blue inks, so mm -hmm. I've been liking the first two because they lean blue, but this gives my eye a little something extra to look at. Yeah, it's right, right on the balance there. But I won't call it green. Nope, nope, not yet a green. But if it were any greener, we might be talking like emerald green aqua sort of territory. But Or teal. Oh, no. <laughs> but now, speaking of price per milliliter, mm -hmm. what's this one? Oh, This oh. is a very interesting bottle. Mm -hmm. I love that. Carandash. Bottle. That is my favorite ink bottle of all of the ink bottles. It's beautiful. Except for, oh. And what is the name of this ink? That is Carandash Hypnotic Turquoise. Turquoise. Hypnotic Turquoise. Hypnotic That's Turquoise. Fun. And this okay. one was my dark horse. I can, I'm not sure that I can choose a favorite every time I try to pick a favorite amongst these That's five. That's why we said five favorites. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to pick a favorite. Oh, excellent. Good. I'm so glad you have taken that burden off of yes. me. Because every time I try to pick a favorite, I pick one, and then I think, oh, but what about this other guy? Well, when I pick a favorite, it's it's for the next five minutes. Yeah. You're allowed to change your mind. Oh, thank goodness. Eight. Yeah. Oh, all right. If it's not binding, then... They're each so my this favorite has got in sequence. Less green than the diamine. Yes. Oh, good. See, I'm learning. This, and it's <laughs> got a the a unique among all of the more Western style inks. This one has a little bit more range, so it's going to give you lighter lights and darker darks, which, if you're like looking at it from far away, will make your handwriting look a little bit different than it does if you're getting a very universal tone. Or it's very pretty. Yeah, I, I loved the way that it flowed back on itself, a little bit like that sailor that we talked about earlier. Uh, and it creates nice little halos. I think I'm still working on my strategy for spilling ink all over the page. There is an art to that, apparently. Is there an art to that? <laughs> but it might even have produced a little bit of sheen. Are you staring at that one bit? Like, I think that's sheen. I don't think it would come out in regular writing. Turquoise inks don't usually no, have a ton a, of sheen. but a, a Parallel, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to say that it, as far as darkness or lightness mm -hmm. is concerned, it falls somewhere in the middle between the Sailoring Studio and the Lamy. Yeah, yeah. It and, gets it, a little lighter than the Lamy does, but it is just about averaging around the same area. And you're saying that's pigment, not necessarily color, the lightness. That's shading. Shading. Yes, exactly. you, I thought you said one of these had more pigment. Yes. The less, pi the less pigment it has, the more it will tend to shade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whew. I know. I know. We're going to need diagrams. <laughs> I see a bottle here that is not, does not have turquoise ink yes, in it. Yes. This bottle is this full bottle. of lies. Full of <laughs> lies. It's so you're going to love it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar, right? <laughs> but this is the bottle 
that comes in this box, which is what? This is Colorverse, not turquoise. This is Colorverse oh, Cyan. Clear Cyan. Clear oh. Cyan. I was expecting a lighter blue, and that's what I see. Mm -hmm. I was relieved to find that the ink was not clear in color. <laughs> Or disappointed. Yes, and this is the bottle it would be in if we could show you the bottle, but... The this, box is sealed. Yes, this right, beautiful yeah. box prevents tampering, much to my chagrin. But... And this is another light one. Yeah. According to me, it's it's about the same lightness, as I'd say, as the Ink mm -hmm. Studio 141. Yep, and it does just the same thing where it kind of flows back on itself and produces those darker, uh, what I would call haloing. I guess mm -hmm. where it's a little bit darker on the edges on the than edges, it is yeah. in the center of the word. And this one had, I think, the most surprises for me. Uh, I just, I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but the shading that it produced was really unique. Uh, I still, I still don't know how to quite describe it, but it, there are just lots of different like levels and layers and different colors that it produces as, as it sort of dries. So it sounds like you like this ink. Yeah, I like this ink a lot. Like this could be your favorite. It it could be for a second, and then I think back to Karen Dash Hypnotic Turquoise, <laughs> and I would remember everything I liked about that. It's really hard. Well, Thank goodness the fact of the matter is that one. these are your five favorites. But yes. If I had to pick one, I think I would go with the one that has a little green in it, and the greenest of these is the diamine. Oh. But I not that it looks green. Not that it looks green. No. But, uh, it, it. My eyes find it interesting and maybe a little fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I like the ones that sit in those in between yeah. places. Like, what is this ink I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. Plus, it's very easy to read. Yeah. yeah None I, of them have been difficult to read. There's no pastels here. No, I did not have any problems. I mean, I think the hardest. The hardest part of, of reading these was reading them out, reading the words out of the Silmarillion, because that's a hard book to read. <laughs> but you managed. I did. I did. And you're not going to tell us what your favorite is for right now. I could try, but I would just end up redoing okay. the entire video. I would. <laughs> okay, then don't bother. Don't bother. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for this. Will you come back and do green soon? I could do green. Because uh, I don't particularly care for green inks, but sometimes they just really catch my attention. Well, hopefully so I can I'd be find one to, 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 to sway you. Yeah, find one to sway me. An ambassador green. Um, so next time's green. Next time's green. Uh, it'll be spring by then. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's, let's hurry up and make that video, because I need spring right now. Okay. Bye.